Aside from some of the big stonefly hatches, hopper season is often the most anticipated time on the Rocky Mountain angler's calendar. And while the big rivers offer some fantastic opportunities, fishing smaller streams and tributaries often provides faster fishing, sometimes with some surprisingly large trout. When the valley bottom main stems get warm, their resident fish will sometimes flee to the cooler refuges offered by higher elevation and brush covered tributaries. Other times, browns and brookies might be in a tributary migrating to their spawning grounds. But even if you only find 12 inches, small stream hopper fishing can be incredibly fun. The actual timing of this outstanding fishing can be a bit enigmatic. If the summer has been relatively cool and the fish have remained in the main stem, or if spawning runs occur early or late, or if the fish have already gorged on hoppers, fishing could be relatively slow. Because these streams are small and cramped, stealth is important. Sneaking up on the banks, kneeling, and sometimes even bow and arrow casts can be necessary. Hike upstream when possible so the fish don't see you coming. We're often taught on the big rivers to splash or splop your hopper down to get the fish's attention, but that is less necessary on these meager creeks. Anything that hits the surface will be close enough to grab the fish's attention. An occasional twitch or skitch of the fly can add life to your drift. It's often sight fishing to individual fish or casting at likely holding water, which includes color changes, buckets, and cutoff banks below grassy fields, rather than casting at confirmed rises, as you would with other dry fly fishing. At this time of year, wet wading is usually in order. Most major fishing apparel brands offer quick drying wading pants. I really like my Squala Soul wading pants. Some brands even offer specialized wet wading footwear, like my Orvis Hikers. A fast action rod can give you an advantage for hopper fishing. I had been on such a slow rod kick recently that I basically retired all my fast action rods, so when I brought my Thomas & Thomas Helix 4 weight back out for some hopper fishing, I was really surprised at the distance and accuracy I gained. Regarding fly selection, I usually start with a big foam bodied fly like a Chernobyl Ant, Thunder Thighs Hopper, or Amy's Ant, tied to 3x tippet since the takes can be aggressive. Some fly line manufacturers make fly lines with aggressive tapers designed to deliver large flies in the wind like the Airflow Superflow Streamer Float Fly Line and Scientific Angler's Amplitude Textured Bass Bug Line. Small stream hopper fishing is considered by many to be the most fun fishing of the year. Scout water early and check for any annual grasshopper prognostications. There are many public land streams that offer fantastic small stream hopper fishing throughout the Rocky Mountain West.